Pentagon. Hello everyone, it is the Banter Guy here, and welcome back to my walkthrough of the Simpsons Hit and Run. This is part 13. In the last episode, we finished level 3 and started and did finish the first mission of level 4. And now we are here with Marge Simpson, and we've got a collector card up here that I will struggle to get. Yeah, um, in the f in the, so, so the collector cards have moved since we were last here. There we go. Got this level guy again. And this one. Tiki statue as well. And, um, yeah, up, up here now, Bart's bedroom, uh, is a place where you can buy costumes. That's the only new advantage to that bit. So... Um, we've also got a few other of the similar uh, level guy places and so on, because so, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of collecting this episode so that we don't have to deal with this later on. Um, I'm, I might also do a couple of the missions, but certainly collecting is what this episode is going to be about. So hope you enjoy. Uh, Wasp camera. Still don't have the shield yet, that comes level 5 when they start being um, really, really irritating to deal with. Because they get like a shield and you have to hit them twice, and if some of them are like above just a big drop, then that can be... Well, let's just say it can be quite annoying. Just getting all these crates with all these monies. Or money. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's just, I've been I've been doing so much YouTube recently, I've been, and I've also been watching a lot of YouTube. People, a lot of people just tend to say monies because it's somehow funny or slightly cute, so I've got into a bit of a bad habit there. Yeah... You know, that's what YouTube does to someone. Hello, Ralph. Hi there, Mr. Smiles. They won't let me touch money anymore. I wonder why. Alright, um... Oh my goodness. So, we also have that same bit in the play park, which what is just... My bad. Uh, over here. By the way, this is a shortcut here, but it's not a very effective one. Which is a shame because it's, you know. Well, I mean, it is effective and it isn't because you can take a risk doing it, and if you screw it up, it can be quite bad because you get you get sort of stuck between a tree and a house, and that can be quite bad. Um, I'm sure there's a wasp camera here. Um, or did we just take one out? I can't remember. Goodness, my memory is shot today. Um, yeah, so, so that's all the random clicking we did there. Next will be the Quickie Mart, because I believe that's where some of the other level gags are, and a collector card, I think, is somewhere around here as well. Quite similar, mirroring what we saw from the first level. And we're getting hit and run. Yeah, hit and run becomes a real problem in this level, as I recall, because the hit and run meter doesn't uh, decrease as quickly as it has, been, uh, has done in levels 1 to 3. But uh, we've got a couple of the repeating level gags here, like Frosticulus, Frostilicus, or something like that. We've got all these ones. With the exact same cutscene as last time. But if you haven't seen it, there you go. And you get your head blown off. Lovely. Um, yeah. Th this this is exactly how you'd imagine a Simpsons GTA film would be like. I mean, there's there's no question about that. Um, and then what do you have today? The quickie mark thing, the squishy thing. Most and where's the silence alarm? I forgot what that was now. Damn, the silence alarm. Where is it? Um, I guess that's not in this level. Hmm, never mind. Right, and then let's go on top of the duff truck. Yippee! Oh, that was a fail and a half. Oh, boy. <clears throat> there we go. Watch camera. Alright. Yeah, so the, 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 there's the collector card, and I guess we'll just go over here, then. 
Uh, but where's the thing? I forgot where the thing was. Where was it? Here it is. And there we go with that. Wasp camera! Yay! Death to wasp cameras. Death to them! So, um... What else? So th there's the collector card, which I missed entirely. Um, where do you, do you simply just like get it from that point? I, f I forget how you get it because I think maybe I just jumped incoherently the wrong way. Damn it! Oh, I don't have any pockets. Just let me catch my breath. Never. Never. Right, so let's let's jump for this and let's do it right. So I don't want to fail this twice. Be there we go. Mr. Plow jacket. That was the jacket that Homer wore in the episode of Mr. Plow. Not very <laughs> difficult to fathom there. Yeah, need some coins. And other stuff. So now, let's get back in our vehicle, and we'll head to the elementary school, because that's where the next bit of collecting goes on. Nice, girls. nice for these driving bits here, you just get to sample the lovely Simpsons environment, which is actually quite nice and very well detailed. Um, oh, and by the way, I want, I want to show you this quick shortcut that you can take. Um, which is, I think was the shortcut Bart took in the very first level when he uh, got ahead of us. It's around here. Like that. But you, you, you run the risk of hitting a whole load of stuff. So it's not an ideal shortcut, but it's there. And it just shortcuts you to uh, in front of the cookie mark. So, that's helpful. Uh, which I think is a new addition, because I don't think that's available in level 1. Or um... Sorry, sorry about my freaking controller, it just keeps disconnecting, sorry. But we had that problem in level 3, and I, I thought I'd fixed it, but apparently not. Anyway, um... Let's go to the elementary school. Oh, before we... Before, nope, no, uh, never mind, we'll do, we'll do this first. I was wanting to go inside the school, because as you know there are level gags in the school, as well as outside. So... Apparently that was it for the collecting. Wasp camera! Ton of coins! Yay! Yes! Another wasp camera? Right now again, mine for the blowers, because they will... <laughs> that sounds wrong, but what I'm going to say is they blow you off. Um, now what I mean by that is they will gust air at you and it will throw you off the top of the school. I don't mean anything else, I don't want to say any rude comments, thank you very much, because this is after all a children's game, so can we all grow up people? Um, and let's not go there. Right, I believe that is it. Yep. So... Actually, um, I don't want to go there, I want to go over here. There's the wager race. Now, I haven't explained what they are. Basically, you bet an amount of money, and if you complete the wager race by going all the way around the map, they give you double the amount you originally bet. They're not all that effective for money gaining. If you want money gaining, go and collect crates and the vending machines, or smash wash cameras. Do not bother with the wager races. They're a sort of effective way of getting money, but not really. Yay. So now...
we shall head to the next collecting point where I know there is something. Yay. Um, I, I just love that random photo of Cletus in the top corner. What that is, it refers to we have to go to Cletus's shack, as you saw in the last episode, if you want to find out what or where the, where the crop circle is and what does it look like and so on. And all that other good stuff. Right. So the next bit of collecting resides just here. Now, if you remember in level one, we came here and I was wondering, is there a collector card here? And there wasn't one. There is now. So we'll need to get that. And there's also a wasp camera up here, apparently. So we'll have to kill that as well. There we go. But hang on. Get on the crate thing. There we go. Homer's bowling ball. Now well, we're not going to make that jump. We'll have to give it a bit of a bit of a run up. There we go. Now there's another collector card that's kind of awkward to get, and it's over here. So what you have to do is you have to go up here, and the collector card is on that building just opposite the jump. So what we have to do is be very careful about this. Give it a nice straight on one, and hope that we land on the building. There we go. Stop! 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 Whew! That was dangerous! The Red Blazer, that was from the episode where Marge becomes an estate agent and sells Ned Flanders that house that is where the murders happened. Yeah, and we've also got this new area here which is Mr. Burns' mansion, that's now open. Which is a nice touch. Um, nice to know that the areas do change it up a bit. And in level, in level 7, the area here is really changed up. I mean, like, it's, you know, really changed up. And you'll see what I mean when we get to it. Um, but here we are in Mr. Burns Mansion, there's a clutch card and a wasp camera here. I think maybe there might be two wasp cameras, actually, but... We shall see. Yeah, there's the other wasp camera. So here's all this stuff, and if you'll notice that um, the Mr. Burns painting, there's uh, some, some glowing stuff on it. And that indicates we have a collector card behind there. How do you activate it? Well, what you have to do is you have to go over to the shiny head, hit triangle, and it all is revealed. Yeah, see this is why I love this game. As much as it can be annoying, I absolutely adore this game. The naked Mr. Burns portrait. <laughs> I shudder with fear as to what that looks like. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, one thing I didn't show was the view cards uh, button. Basically, if you press it, you can have a look at the collector cards you've collected. <laughs> so as you can see, we've collected five, we need two more. And I've got a feeling I know where they are. Um... I think, honestly, there's a, there's a wasp camera somewhere around here. Yeah. There's the living chess set. Mr. Burns, I think, just has too much money, I think, is the problem with him. Too much money for him. Yeah, so this, this, this is all uh, really good stuff. Yeah, the fact that this is all now open. And, it, and believe me, in some of the street races, and I think the maybe the bonus, no, it's not the bonus mission, it's one of the missions, it incorporates this bit here very well. I think it's maybe the second or last mission. And you see, this is where, um, this is, leads into the power plant here, so. Yeah, I love how they incorporate features like that. Mm, I hope so too, Marge. Uh, no, no, nothing there now. So you see how they, they do change it up, because if you remember there, that's where the wasp, a couple of wasp cameras, and Homer was. Or uh, Homer's uh, stonecutter stuff. Um, where are these last two collector cards? Well, that, that one isn't there now. Is it there? Nope. Oh, 
Um, I don't know where these last Spectre cards are. Well, we can worry about that in the next episode, but, be but before we end off this episode... Okay, before we end off this episode... We have a street race to do. And we're not doing that one. The street race we're doing... Is... Over here. It is... The dreaded Millhouse's time trial. Now this one hopefully will not be as annoying. Millhouse, do not anger me. Hello, Millhouse. What are you doing here? Patty and Selma trapped me in debt slavery, so I'm doing their job for them now. Well, I'm sure it's building character. You have to win these races and you'll get yourself a new car or something. I don't know. I'm so tired. Sounds like fun. Hang in there. Sounds like fun, really, Marge? The car fumes are making me dizzy. Whoa. Oh. Just do it. Three, two, <coughs> one. Well, that was a very interesting intro there from Millhouse. And that was also slightly disturbing. The fact that Patty and Selma now invest in child labor where the car can make people dizzy. Now you see how when it incorporated the environment there, it made it so that you can't really screw it up all that much. I like little touches like that that don't, you know, annoy like other street races do. Yeah, we're really busting off our car here quite a bit. Not very good at this. Damn it. No, no, no Marge, don't screw this up. Not when we were doing so well. Whoa. Damn it. No. 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 No! Fucking pillar! I think we might have screwed that up. We might have done... Hard to say at the moment, no. Yeah, I think we've definitely screwed that up. Unless a miracle happens and we actually managed to do this. No, I'll just let it fail, but I think we've well and truly failed that. That's shocking. First yeah, retry. Time trials? Why do you do this to me? Why? The car fumes are making me dizzy. Whoa. Oh. Hurry up, Melhouse. Do it. Three, two, <coughs> one. Look, yeah, that, that intro is very disturbing. Well, let's not screw this up now. Goodness gracious, Marge. Goodness gracious, Marge! But you drive properly. I sort of agree with Marge. Women drivers, unbelievable. Um, no, we're not. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. Right. <coughs> Come on, Marge. Let's do this. Let's screw this up.
Yes, down here through the freaking living chest stuff as well. No, okay, I think we've well and truly screwed that up once again. Time trial races. Gotta love them. First you marry Homer, now this. <laughs>